Welcome students. Today we will solve first problem on kinetics of particles based on Newton's second law. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. So let us read the statement first. A 80 kilogram block rests on a horizontal plane. Find the magnitude of the force P required to give the block an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square to the right. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the plane is given as mu k equal to 0.25. So we are given one block, it is resting on horizontal plane and the mass of the block is 80 kilogram. And on this block, a force of magnitude P is acting at an angle of 30 degrees and we have to find what should be the magnitude of this force P in order to give the block an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square. And it is also mentioned that in this problem we have a friction between the block and the horizontal plane. And value of coefficient of friction is given to us as 0.25, which is coefficient of kinetic friction. So let us see how to solve this particular problem. The very first step is that we should construct its free body. So in order to draw the free body of this problem, first of all, we have to draw block on a horizontal surface. And on that block, we will show this force at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. And after that, we will label the weight of the block. And we know weight always acts in downward direction. So we will represent its weight in downward direction. And uh, we are given mass of the block. So we have converted that into weight by multiplying it with 9.81. So weight will be equal to 785 newtons. Now in this uh, free body, the next force to represent is the normal pressure, which will act normal to the surface on which this block is resting. So let us label that normal pressure and uh, let us name that as M. Now after labeling normal pressure, we have to label frictional force as well, because in this problem, it is given that there is a friction between horizontal surface and the block. And we are given coefficient of friction as 0.25. And we know friction force always acts opposite to the direction of motion. And in this problem, it is mentioned that block will move towards right. It means we have to show the direction of friction force in opposite direction, that is towards left. So after this, what we need to do, we need to resolve this force into its components. And uh, it is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. So we have to show two components for this force, one along horizontal direction, other will be along vertical direction. And we are taking angle of this force with the horizontal component. So this will be cos component, other will be sine component. So let us label these two components now. So this will be P cos 30 degrees and other will be P sine 30 degrees. Now for these two components, we have labeled the direction towards the origin because the main force direction is towards origin. So we have shown the direction of these two components also towards origin or the point of application at which this force is acting. Now this is the condition given to us in this particular problem and we know this block we have to move with an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square. So we can say that uh, this system of forces will be equivalent to the acceleration of the block towards right. So we will say summation F is equal to MA. Now we have to find the magnitude of this force, which will move the block with an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square. So let us observe the motion of this block and we know that this block is moving towards right, moving along horizontal. So we can use first equation as summation fx is equal to ma. Means whatever forces are acting on the body in x direction, if we will add those forces 
then those forces will result into the acceleration of the block. So by Newton's second law, we can say summation fx is equal to ma. So let us see how many forces are acting on this body in x direction. So we have two forces over here. One is P cos 30 degrees. It is acting towards the direction of motion. So we will consider this as positive. And this frictional force is acting opposite to the direction of motion. So we will consider this negative. So summation fx will be equal to P cos 30 minus F. And this is equal to Ma, where M is the mass of the block, A is the acceleration of the block towards right. Okay, now uh, this equation will reduce to P cos 30 minus mu n equal to Ma because we have replaced frictional force by mu n. Now mu over here represents coefficient of kinetic friction, n is the normal pressure. So let us put these values further. So we will get P cos 30 minus 0.25 into n is equal to 80. 80 is the mass of the block into acceleration, which is given to us as 2.5 meter per second square. And 0.25 represents coefficient of kinetic friction, which is also given to us in the quotient. So this equation will further reduce to P cos 30 minus 0.25 n is equal to 200. And in this equation, we have two unknowns. One is the force P and second is the normal pressure N. So we cannot solve this equation. So we'll call this equation as equation number one for time being. Now we will consider vertical motion of this body. Now you see this block is moving only along X direction. There is no movement of the block in Y direction. That means we can say that summation Fy is equal to zero. That means whatever forces are acting on the block in y direction, if we will add those forces, then the sum of those forces will be equal to zero. So that is why we have written summation of y equal to zero. So let us see how many forces are acting on this block in y direction. Now one is the normal pressure. It is acting in our direction. So we will consider this as positive. Then we have the weight of the block, which is 785 Newton. It is acting in downward direction. So we'll consider this as negative. Then we have component of this force P sine 30, which is also acting in downward direction. So we will consider this also negative. It means equation will be N minus P sine 30 minus 785 equal to zero. So from here, we will get value of N in terms of P. So we can write that n is equal to p sine 30 plus 785. Now we'll say put this value of n in equation 1. So when we'll put value of n in this equation 1, then we will get complete equation in terms of p only. So we have one equation, we can solve this equation. So from here, we will get value of p as 535 Newton. So we have found that if we want to move this block with an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square towards right with a force acting at 30 degrees to the horizontal, then the magnitude of that force must be equal to 535 newtons. So I hope the answer of this question is clear to you. Thank you very much.